Every editor has more photos than layout space. By publishing an interactive PDF, we can place all of them at the fingertips of our readers. Both our thumbnail image and our pop-out photo are maintained in our InDesign Buttons panel. Hang around for the fastest way to incorporate this feature into your next edition. Here's our InDesign document, and you can see that we've already placed our first thumbnail image. We've got two object styles, one for regular mode, the other one for rollover. Now we're going to place our first pop-out. Obviously it's the same image. Time to turn it into a button. We'll select it, go to the Buttons panel, click Create New Button, and let's name this one Pop-out 1. We're going to go to the flyout menu, make sure that hidden in PDF is checked on. We don't want it to be visible as soon as we open the PDF. Select our thumbnail, create new button, and let's call it thumb one. Remember we can assign a different look in both normal and rollover mode. Also, make sure that it is visible in the PDF. Go down to the rollover proxy, and now we're going to assign the rollover object style that we created, and you can see it changes slightly. Now for functionality. The event is on rollover. We'll click the Action Plus button. Show Hide Buttons, and remember we want pop-out 1 to be visible. We'll scroll down to the bottom of the list till we find it. Click once to show that eyeball icon. The X icon means every other button is ignored in this action. Let's go back up and roll off the next action. Show hide buttons one more time. On roll off, however, we'll find our pop-out number one. Click twice for that eyeball with the slash through it, meaning make it disappear when we roll off. Basic functionality is in place. It's already time to export and test it out. Here's our PDF version. We can't see that pop-out until we roll over the image roll back out and it makes it invisible. Step one is complete. Let's go back to our InDesign document and review what we've already seen. We've got pop-out number one created, also a button called thumb number one. We've checked rollover mode. Notice that on rollover pop-out one is visible on roll off, pop out one is rendered invisible. Now we can go through this process for lots of other images, but remember that list is going to get pretty long. So instead of that, how about we just select both of those buttons and duplicate. We've got an entire different set there. Let's just select that first one and look what's happened. It's automatically turned into pop-up number two, which we can fill with another image. How about thumbnail number two, automatically renamed by InDesign? We're in rollover mode. We'll place that new image. Remember, we have to do it in normal mode as well. Now we don't have to deal with the lengthening list of buttons. Not only are the buttons duplicated, but their relationship to one another is duplicated as well. We're ready to test it out. We'll replace our test PDF, export, 
Now we're ready to lay over each button. Notice that it changes in rollover mode and it pops out the proper image. Couldn't be better or faster. Back to our InDesign document to cover a couple of other points. We can adjust our images any way that we want to. We can move them any place that we like to match our example. Change our layout. And notice that here we've created a pop-out layer. So if we needed to do more layout on the document, we could temporarily move those out of the way. Just remember to activate that layer before you export to PDF, or you're not going to be able to see those pop-out images. I've selected that first button set. Now I'm going to create a brand new document, and I pasted in that button set. And as you can see, we might want to change those names to pop-out one and thumb one, but the relationship, style sheets, and everything are ready to repurpose in another document. 